No, five more minutes. Oh, hello. My name's Robert Swimmer. Welcome to my channel where we explore from the air, the land, and underwater. Today we are actually in exploring the interior of a YK2. Uh, it's a Grand Cherokee Trailhawk 2021. And I was trying to come up with a solution to sleeping as well as storing my camera gear, camping gears, tools, things that you might need on the road off-roading. And uh, I came across Pelican Case, these vaults that are uh, designed for rifle uh, transportation. And they're only about seven inches tall, six inches of storage inside. And they are crush proof, they are water resistant. I can set up this rig five minutes and have all my gear in here because I can pull the Pelican cases out and they're only tied down by uh, three rubber straps. So let me give you a tour. And another thing I really like about this setup is that I have a lot of height here I can read and I can exit the side door. I don't have to open the big back door and let out all the warm heat. And I'll show you how that works. Just open the door, turn, grab the handle, and you're out. So the V800s are 56 inches long by a little over 19. And then the uh, V770 vault is 51 inches by 13. So a lot of capacity, interior six inches high. And I'm gonna show you that here in a second. I wanted to show you, this is how I clip them down. I'm basically using the, uh, the base of the seat belt, the metal clip that goes into the chassis. And a quick clip, I can undo it. And then I just clip it on the seat belt when I'm not using it. So there's the uh, vault, the V770, which is 51 inches across, fits in perfectly in between the doors with a little extra space. It is 13 inches. And so combine this with the uh, memory pad extends probably about six foot one. And I don't even need to add anything. And it, it works perfect for me. I'm five foot 11. The latches uh, on these vaults I really like over other Pelican cases where you have to pull them all the way up to lift the lid. This you don't have to. Just touch it once. On the next one. And they've already, the clears you can see. So I'll go along, open up that one, and we'll come around. Release this one. Release that one. And there you go. That is the camera side of the house. And all these bags, you know, for the drone here and other accessories are all no higher than six inches. So on this side of the house, or we would say on boats, the port side, again, easy release. This is where those tools that I might need camping gear. And one thing that I am going to add to this is I'm going to put a piece of plywood that'll run underneath probably the heaviest unit. And so if you're camping, you could just lift and pull the plywood up. It would support it and you'd have a nice platform for either your stove or the, um, you know, like setting up the drone. This is foam that came with the vaults. You know, these are all full of foam, of course, to pack your rifles. But I just cut this piece so when my, uh, my phone goes over it, it, you know, I, I don't feel that void there. In here, 
We have, this is my camp stove that's in here. The propane is in there. This is the camp chair, walking sticks, always more lash down buckles. I've got shovel in here. I have, this one is really cool. This is, I got this off Amazon for the tools for a small space. And you know, you have SAE wrenches, and then metric. I have various pliers, electrical fuses, hammer, scissors, utility knives, screwdrivers. really nice and tight and you can strap it you have two handles there quick mentioned takes up very little room which is important when you're trying to keep your space compact um, this is, you know, important to have your uh, reflection, if you break down, uh, handy, quick, on top. I just wrap it in a towel because I don't want anything rattling and banging. And I've, I've done the speed bump test, a little bit off-road work. So the jet boil, you're like, well, where's the stove part? This is protective cup, you can use it for measuring. Everything is, all contained in that cup. Of course, you have various sizes of propane tanks. It's a larger one. Or if you want to go more compact, you can take a smaller one. There's uh, this particular model. You can make your coffee. It's got a press. And every, again, compact, compact, compact the lid on put the base on that's your whole stove you just need to add water or coffee in my case I, uh, I take a big Stanley thermos when I travel last two or three days of coffee and I just pour it in there and warm it up and on the side each one of these uh, starts to glow to tell you at what point the heat range is and when they're all completely colored you're at boil but you may not want to boil your coffee, you just may want to warm it up. And there's also attachment that goes on the, uh, the burner. So if you want to put a larger uh, skillet on there, th that works. And then there's a, a double burner system on this uh, that you can buy, same company from Jetboil. And, and I'm looking into that, but right now they were uh, back ordered. They're only uh, less than six inches tall when it's put together, so that would fit in here really nicely. These are my rattlesnake shin guards. Yes, it's Southern California, we have rattlesnakes. So when I'm out hiking, uh, that provides some protection. And underneath shin guards are chains. Uh, here in California, even with four-wheel drive, you may not be required to put them on the vehicle, but you are required to have them in the vehicle. There's a lot of weight there. I typically will not carry that year-round, only when, like this is March, and we're still getting snowstorms here in the local foothills of Southern California. That, so that's a requirement. So currently my seats are tilted forward, so the memory foam actually goes beyond the 770 and it has works perfect for my head I don't need to add anything there I have a little pouch there I got my bear spray and you have a hat and some drinking water and things like that at night and a reading light all rides in that little knitted and supported by the headrest there nice little storage area and finally this is the so I mentioned I haven't taken the stickers off yet, but that's the Vault V770, the 51 inch by 13, 
Just works perfectly between the doors. And what do I carry in that? There's the tripod for the still camera. There's a tripod for the camcorder. And also a bag of all the lithium batteries that I carry. It's fireproof, so it's really important these days. Don't want things just bouncing around, igniting. Uh, it's a nice safe pouch. I can pull it out if there is an issue. The things I wanted to share that are not in the cases here. Of course, I would have my ice chest, which is actually with me right now. And then there'd be, you know, a bag of uh, food that you don't, you know, necessarily want to uh, refrigerate or extra clothes, which there's plenty of room, uh, especially with all the space up on the uh, passenger's uh, side. But right behind the driver's seat, I don't even put this in a case, first aid kit. You know, you, you want to be able to tell somebody to go grab it quickly. Sitting under the uh, passenger's rear seat is a charger, booster, in case you have to jump start your vehicle. And this is uh, a pretty nice little tool, compact, uh, that I hope I never have to use. Give me some traction under the tires. And what I like rolls right back up and stows away really nicely. Uh, and again, this is on the uh, rear seat, driver's side. And what you have to do um, is actually lift the seat up a little bit. When the seats go down on a WK2, they actually lower a little bit. So this was in here kind of snug. It's the beauty of this system is that I can slide this out, slide this out, pull that out, lift the seat up, pull these out. This one's easy to grab, but this is a little bit higher. So now I have everything bundled up again, ready to travel. I tend to bring a lot more camera equipment than average people, because uh, I'm a videographer, photographer. You would probably maybe use two thirds of this, maybe more if you carry your camera bag, you know, outside of the storage. Think of the amount of square foot of storage you can get on that second vault. So this quick tie down, I'm using the uh, handles. I told you pretty heavy duty on each side. Just a quick strap, nice and solid. And you can still have your sleeping bag in here and just, you know, flip it over. So this is sitting on something solid so it's not moving around on the foam or the sleeping bag and you got good capture because you certainly don't want it to go launch anywhere. And I've taken it over uh, some pretty good bumps. I don't even hear any rattling whatsoever. I'm gonna call it a wrap. I'm getting pretty sunburned out here up in the mountains. <laughs> Been out here for a couple of days. The, uh, I'm really pleased with this. It was a real fluke to go into a big five sporting good looking for something else, nothing associated with storage. And seeing these gun cases, I went, Oh my, the, you know, the fact that they were so low profile and which worked for the type of equipment that I bring, but I had built another system recently uh, that was 13 inches at the um, bed liner and had about 10 inches of storage underneath. And I, it put me so close to the headliner, it was almost claustrophobic. I couldn't get out the side doors and I said, it's just not going to work. Now I have a system that I can pull out of the car five minutes cost $500, but it's worth it because it uses every inch of the cargo space on a WK2 Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. So th this is just perfect. I, I, I was excited to throw this together. You know, it, it took, you know, other than loading the boxes, which, you know, take you a little bit longer, throwing them in the car, five minutes, put the straps in, you're ready to go. Throw the sleeping bag in, memory foam, ice chest. It's a lifetime light ice chest. I really like it. Uh, it's, it's, you know, works on ice, no electricity, but I get at least a 
three days uh, of really cold uh, interior, so I'm happy with that. And when I camp, it either goes on the uh, passenger's seat if I need it secured, or it sits outside, especially if it's cool at, at night. I'd rather have it, you know, stay chilled. So here is a, I hope this works for you. Uh, I think it's a great system. And when I'm not using it, you know, these are easy to store. You could probably store them under your bed because um, they're, again, it's 6.9 inches to the top. Uh, and you could store stuff in them when you're not camping. <laughs> so I, uh, I certainly won't keep my camera gear in there. Um, when I'm not you know, utilizing this. But another thing, when, when I'm at home, where my camera equipment is secured in my home, I don't leave it in the car. Uh, I just put this, have this box loaded. Next morning, it goes in, I'm gone. So that, that makes it nice.